MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today, the third and final game in this three-game series between the Miami Marlins and the Milwaukee Brewers. Live baseball here on MLB Network, and it comes your way next. Kyle Gibson gets the assignment for the rubber match in this series. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, Matt, coming on Kyle Gibson to pitch. Four pitch mix. Not an overpowering guy. More of a pitch-to-contact kind of guy. Fastball 89 to 93. Curveball, changeup, and slider. He's a guy you'll know if he's on early. He's going to induce a lot of ground balls. If he's getting pop-ups and fly balls, that's dangerous. He's not a power-type pitcher. Here's D. Gordon now, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. First delivery to him on the way. And afternoon baseball on MLB Network is underway. Dan D. Rowe, these Brewers, as they begin play here this afternoon, they come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five of their last eight ball games. Yeah, Matty V. Hey, D. Rowe, this has not been the kind of homestand that they would like to have so far. Through the first five games, they're two and three, D. Rowe. Getting to 500 on this homestand is certainly one thing they'd like to do here today. Yeah, they can salvage a little bit right now. They can walk out of here today with a smile on their face if they can get this back to 500 in these first six games. And here's how the visiting Miami Marlins will line up in this one. Who stands out to you, Danny? Well, Matt, Evan Longoria has been tearing it up lately. He's in the double digits. He's got a 10-game hit streak. That means a little over a week start heading into that second week and now people are, are going to start paying attention to you. Here comes the first pitch. Strike one to start the at bat. Bases are empty one man out. That's over but low it's a ball and a strike. Well, time to look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Dave Lawrence. Yeah, Dan, we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight. One of the best in the game, I think. Consistent, well-respected, accurate strike zone. Uh, Debro, you hit it right there. He makes you bring the ball over the plate. We'll give a little bit off the strike zone. I think the one thing that's important that he does, he has the same strike zone in the first inning. You'll see that same strike zone in the ninth. Now the 2-1. Is a sinker that misses for a ball. Career against Kyle Gibson. He's one for two. The three one. Line drive to center field. Croxton is there now and he has it. Two gone. Batting third. Right fielder. John Carlos. Stanton. Giancarlo Stanton now. First pitch coming. Here it is. Almost a worm burner as he misses on a low fastball. Ball one. Two out. Nobody on. Two balls and no strikes. The count to Stanton. Well, here's a guy we know is swinging it pretty well at the plate lately, and based on those last two pitches, I think I know why. He's doing a great job of putting himself in counts where he's likely to be successful. Swung on, and this ball is absolutely crushed. Forget about it. Out of here, into the visitor's bullpen. It's a solo blast off the bat of Giancarlo Stanton. Fourth home run here in the early going as the Marlins will take a one to nothing lead. Boy, this guy's hot right now. Hit a bomb yesterday and hit another tape measure shot today. When he gets hot, he hits him in bunches. This could be the beginning of one of those extended hot streaks. Stepping in, Evan Longoria. And as you can see, he's seen that average climb the last week or so. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. First pitch here is a sinker that runs a bit too wide. It's ball one.
This is line to left. That gets down, and the inning continues. So the two-out base hit, and the top of the inning is still alive. Hey, Dero, are you aware of this? After that knock right there, that's an 11-game hitting streak. You think he knows it's at 11? I think he knows exactly that it's at 11. It starts off innocent. You just want to get a few knocks to get the hitting coach off your back. Next thing you know, you wake up, you've been sleeping easy for almost a week, eight days. Now we're on 11? This guy's dinner tastes different. Standing in now, Chris Taylor. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. And oh, trouble averted as he takes away extra bases and the inning is over. One more look at the final out. A teeth rattler if ever there was one. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Freddie Barrera gets the ball for Miami in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, Matt, you know that fifth inning can be an awful demanding inning for a starting pitcher. It's kind of like Wednesday being the hump day during the day of the week. Every starter knows they have to go five innings to qualify for a win. He wasn't particularly good in his last one taking the loss, and I'm sure he's hoping for a much better fortune in this one today. At the plate, Orlando Garcia. He'll leave things off here in the bottom half of the first. And that one just missed outside. These Marlins, as they take the field this afternoon, they've been playing better than 500 baseball of late, five and three in their last eight games. Yeah, Maddie, this team has been playing really well right now, and, and and this is case in point. Chance to jump out again to another one nothing lead. They've really been doing that. They've been on the tack, early offensive, almost ambush-like approaches to their at bats, and it's working for them. Two and one. That curveball is a pitch you have to get on top of, or else it'll take off just like that one did. And he fouls this one off. Another 2 2 offering. Skied into straightaway right. Therefore, it is Stanton, and he's got it for the first out. And with that, time to take a glance at the starting nine for these Brewers. Mark, daytime baseball at home. What do we need to know about these guys? Yeah, Matty, a lot of professional at-bats up and down this lineup. I know they're behind right now, but it only takes one guy to set the tone and get the boys going. And that'll bring up the Brazilian-born Paulo Orlando. He's ready for his first at-bat of this early season contest. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. And it's one and one. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. One out, nobody on. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. That's a pretty unique pitch sequence, guys. Not Usually entire. pitching is all about Not mixing fielder. pitches and location, right. but he threw that all out the window to get that strikeout. He offered the same pitch three times in a row, so I guess he sort of used that reverse psychology to outthink his opponent. Here's Brian Braun now, as he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. Looking at his career totals, Braun begins play with a slugging percentage north of 525. Certainly a line he can take pride in. Slider and he can't pull the trigger, two strikes. He had some really good late action on that slider right there. It's hard to do anything with that pitch unless you're sitting on it and catch it out front before it breaks all the way in. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Popped him up. 
Fisher moving to his left. And that ends the inning. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Standing in, Derek Fisher is ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. First delivery to him on the way. Nope. And he lays off there, 1 0. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2 0 now. That was one of the easiest takes he'll have all year, and it puts him in a great hitter's count. He's got to take advantage of this situation. High in the air into shallow left center. Arcia trying to get there. He can't get there as it falls in. Oh, and the throw back in is a wild one. And a nice job to get the ball in quickly. He'll be held to a single here with nobody out. Dan, that hit right there extends his hit streak to eight games. Are you aware of stuff like that? No doubt about it right now. He's swinging the bat really well. And after that knock right there, hey, listen, eight games is nothing to sneeze at. So you can say, hey, he's going to hold calendar week with getting at least one base hit. So there's a lot of positives going on right now. Here comes the first pitch. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. The 1-0. Hit down the line at first. But a foul ball, 1-1. One one. A 1-1 one one is looked at for ball number two. The 2-1. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Fisher aboard here at first with nobody out. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third and no swing. It's ball three. The three two pitch. He's running. Sent on the ground out to second. And Walker's throw is in time for out number one. All right, guys, here's a defensive alignment for the Milwaukee Brewers. And, guys, the things I want you to focus on today, one of them being this manager loves to shift. He has the pitch and step to trust to be able to manipulate his defense to try and get as many outs and play the numbers as much as he can. Coming to the plate now, Cam Gallagher. And he has not gotten off to the start he had hoped for with the bat. It's been a real struggle for him out of the gate. From the stretch. Is that little sinker right over the outside corner. behind 0-2 now. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Hit on the ground to third. And that's the second out. Petter. Into the box now, Freddy Barrera, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Popped him up. Rodriguez on the move. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Marlins leave one, and after an inning and a half, it's one to nothing.
And that brings up the left-handed hitting Travis Shaw. He's ready for his first at-bat of this early season contest. Driven down the left field line. Will it stay fair? It will not. Just slicing foul at the very last moment. So close to extra bases. 0-2 to Travis Shaw. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Fouled away. Batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there. That caught too much of the plate. He knew it. He missed it. He might not get another opportunity to put the ball in play. And that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. And the Brewers get a man into scoring position on the leadoff double. Now that's the way you answer. They're down one nothing already, but he laces the double and puts himself in the scoring position. That'll get the dugout fired up and excited to punch back. Here's Neil Walker, and he's looking to turn the page. The bat's been ice cold over the last eight or so ball games. And here's a fastball called for strike one. His approach to the plate right here has to be to the right side. If he gets it through the infield, that tying run might come around, but at the very least, that would get the runner to third with less than two outs. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. And it's fouled away. The 0-2 once more. Stopped weakly to the left. Up with it is Longoria. On to first, and it's dropped! And now there'll be two on with nobody out. So definite problems on that last play, and they'll hit the first baseman for the error. Rodriguez. So stepping in, Sean Rodriguez, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Ball one to start the at bat. Runners are at first and third with none out. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Calling for it. Stanton. One out. And no shot of testing anything there. He'll hold on at third with one gone. All right. Here's the defensive alignment for the Miami Marlins. And guys, we'd be remiss if we didn't focus on the gold glover at second base, D. Gordon. He can beat you in so many ways on the base pass. But let's not kid ourselves. Athleticism allows him to make some pretty special plays on the defensive side of the ball. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. With two strikes and the runners at the corners, this is a big pitch coming up. Got to execute to hope to either get a strikeout or a double play ball to help you get out of this thing. One ball and two strikes to count. The 1-2. Swung on and missed strike three. So digging in now, Jet Bandy and their runners at the corners now. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. And that's a fair ball. Line to the right side. In to score from third is the tying run. It's one to one. And he's safe. Hey, Dan, batter drives in two right there to give his team the lead. This looks like it's going to be a little bit back and forth. As a pitcher, how do you stop the bleed? Uh, the one thing you have to do is just concentrate all you can to try to get that first hitter out of each inning. This has the makings like this is going to be one of those seesaw affairs. Into the box, Kyle Gibson. And a chance now to increase his lead if he can deliver something here with two gone. Fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. So two runs on two hits, one Marlin error, and one man left on base. We played two full. It's the Brewers two and the Marlins one. Welcome back to Major League Baseball on MLB Network from the home of the Brewers, Miller Park. Ready for another chance? D. Gordon. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First delivery to him on the way. Q shot here out towards short. 
and one gone. And with one away, it's time to check the standings in the NL Central as you see where the Brewers find themselves entering action today. In is Christian Yelich. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. A ball and no strikes. Got him to swing at a pitch below the knees, one and one. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. It's the depth of a sinker. Sometimes it's a matter of whether or not it's moving east-west, but that one right there had such good downward action. Great pitch. The 2-1. Is it very well to right? This one's hammered, and it's going to go. That one is gone! It's a solo home run for Christian Yelich. Seven home runs for him on the year now as the Marlins have rallied back to tie it at two apiece. He saw a few balls down in the zone earlier in that at bat, but finally got a pitch he liked and promptly deposited over the fence, made the pitcher pay for his mistake, which is exactly what you're supposed to do. In now, Giancarlo Stanton. Swing, and this is also hit well. Out to deep center. A solo home run here off the bat of Giancarlo Stanton. His second home run of the game as the Marlins move out in front now, 3-2. to two. We've seen these guys go deep three times so far in this one, guys. D-Roll, some days the fellows walk in with their hitting shoes on, and this looks like one of those games. Yeah, well, there's a saying going around the dugout right now. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everybody wants a chance to get to that bat. It is the third baseman, Evan Longoria. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. So a line drive single to center makes it two hits for him this afternoon. And as we show you the Marlins leaders in that category, you can see his total is good for third best on the ball club. Up next for Miami, Chris Taylor. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch on its way. Takes this the other way to right. In there, the base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Everybody's different coming out of spring training. Some guys get off to torrid starts. Some guys struggle. This is one that struggled, but maybe that single gets him going. Derek Fisher the next to bat. Nope, and a ball 1-0. Oh. One for one after a single this first time up. That's up cool. top, it's 2-0. Oh. Boy, he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. The 2-0 on the way. A line shot to third base. The left fielder, number two, Carmen Lopez. In now, Carmen Lopez, and we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. Two. 
Here comes the first pitch. Hit out towards second. Gloved by Walker. Throw on to first, and they're able to escape the monster inning as the side is retired. So two runs come across here, both coming via the solo home run. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Marlins three and the Brewers two. Next to bat, Orlando Arcia. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. And a breaking ball stays outside. These are huge innings for a team's morale. The pitcher wants to go out and throw that shutdown inning up and get the boys back swinging the bats again with a chance to capitalize and even extend this current lead. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. The one two. And this is fouled at the plate. Down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Into the corner and slicing foul. Hey, I'm biased to the hitter right now. Keep frustrating that pitcher. Foul 12 of these things off. He's going to miss over the heart of the plate at some point. In tight with the slider, two and two. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. He's definitely going to want to get greedy in his own, and he's obviously seeing the ball well, or he would have swung at that pitch. Sometimes in these long, epic at-bats, you start to get into swing mode. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Orlando Arcia sent packing to begin the bottom of the inning. And that'll bring up the Brazilian-born Paulo Orlando as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Strike two on the curveball. 0 and 2. Unless you're willing to sell out and try and take one part of the field out of play and just work the ball up the middle the other way, it's extremely difficult when a guy's throwing this hard to stay back on a breaking ball. You either commit and be all in on a fastball or try and find a way to work the ball the other way to keep you back on the off speed. A little bit off the outside. It's one and two. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. The one, two. Fouled off. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Got him. Man, they've really had his number so far in this series. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. Here's Brian Braun now. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Third inning, already a 3-2 ball game. Fastball that just misses inside. That's not an easy pitch to do anything with, right? 96 miles an hour in on the hands. You almost have to be looking for that pitch to be able to do anything with that. Two balls and a strike to Braun. I tried to jerk that one, and it's two and two. He's one pitch away from striking out the side, but even more than that, to throw a donut up after your offense put up some runs, I can't tell you what that means to the boys in the dugout. He stays alive, still two and two. The two-two one more time. Hit the other way out toward right field. Stanton has a read on it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Gone in order of the Brewers. They trail three to two. Now 
at the plate. Cam Gallagher, he's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here's the first pitch to him. A changeup over the inside corner. Slow roller out to short. Garcia gloves it. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. The pitcher, number 19, Freddie Barrera. Stepping into the box, Freddie Barrera. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Thought he had the inside corner that time, but it missed for ball one. We're in the fourth. Three to two is our score. One and one, here it comes. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Arcia backs up and takes care of it. Two away. The batter, number nine. Second base. Now with the plate, D. Gordon. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Grounded to the right. And he is in there. So frustrating, Dero. You make a good pitch and you get these guys that can run around and they're fast. You think you have an out and all of a sudden it turns into an infield single. Yeah, this is definitely part of his game, the ground attack, Dan. He's a speedster. He's going to get a ton of infield singles and he knows how frustrated that pitcher is. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. One and no pitch on the way. And that one stayed too low, apparently. That could be one of the downfalls of pitching out. It puts you behind in the count, and if you throw another ball, you're kind of in a difficult spot. 2 0 pitch on the way. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. The 2 1 is in there for the second strike. Two, two. He pulls this one into right. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. That was a great job of driving that ball, extending his arms very well, was able to get it over the right fielder's head, one hopping it off the wall for an easy double. That's one of those solid hits that you don't even feel coming off the bat. Giancarlo Stanton now as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Two home runs already to his name in this one, and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. His last at bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And that sinker misses at the shoe tops. Ball one. Now some movement out in the Milwaukee bullpen. Both the lefty and a right-hander have begun to stretch it out. The 1-2. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Two two doesn't get the zone count full now. 
A lot of times you see guys in the middle of the order get worked away, but not right here. They're keeping it inside on him. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. And he takes ball four. So now at least they're set up for the force at any base here with two away. Yeah, well, when a guy's swinging the bat as well as he's been, this is a smart move. No reason to tempt fate out there. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Evan Longoria. Two base hits, both singles to this point. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Well, this ball's hit hard to left, and this is going to be trouble as that's down for what should be extra bases. And he's in safely to third as they also score a pair of runs on the play. As a manager, you have to give your starter every opportunity to work his way out of trouble. But I think they went with him maybe one batter too long. The bases loaded double blows this thing wide open, and the starter's probably on his last legs now. Into the box now, Chris Taylor. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's one for two in this one. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Stanton, the runner at third. Longoria on at second with two down. line towards center field and he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away and that ends the inning so two runs on three hits no errors and a couple of men left on now to the bottom half of inning number four it's the Marlins five and the Brewers two And that brings up the left-handed hitting Travis Shaw. He scored a run after striking a double in his first at-bat. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Right there is a temptation pitch. Power hitters like this are looking for pitches that they can drive. So that may have been one where he was trying to get him to chase up above the zone a little bit. Sharp slider that time. Just missed inside. Yeah. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. You know, Matty, I'll never understand this. You work so hard throughout the course of the season and course of this game to get in 1-0, 2-0, 3-1 counts. Guarantee yourself a fastball 80 to 90% of the time, and he takes it. Just can't understand the methodology there. The 2-2. Two -two. And he fouls this one off. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. Fouled away. Pulled toward right center field. Yelich is after it. And that's the first out of the inning. How about it? So one gone in the inning, and here's the second baseman, Neil Walker. Now here's the pitch. 
And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0-1. And the pitch. And it's fouled away. Fourth inning here already a 5-2 to two score. Popped him up. Longoria over to his right. And that's the second out of the inning. First baseman, number five. John Rodriguez. So striding forward now, Sean Rodriguez. He flew out in his last at-bat. First offering on its way. And the changeup is way low that time. Rodriguez is a highly regarded defender, especially as corner infielders go. Some guys at first or third are there because they can hit. But he takes a lot of pride in his defense. And as a result, it's definitely not uncommon for him to make an impact on the game with his glove. Here he comes on 2-0. Oh. This is in the air to center. Does he have another 1-2-3 for the ledger? He does. Seven in a row he's set down now as the side is retired. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. And the deficit remains 5-2. Derek Fisher the next to bat. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Here's the first pitch to him. Good change up that time, but he wouldn't bite on it. Smoke on the ground up the middle. And that's through for a hit. So there'll be a man aboard here to start out their half of the fifth. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Standing in now, Carmen Lopez. A ball of no strikes. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. <laughs> Lifted the other way out to left center. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. The relay... Ball's there, and he is out at third. Now batting. Now the Brewers' manager's up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And a change will be forthcoming. That'll be it for Kyle Gibson. So he'll make his way to the dugout after working just four and a third, and he just didn't have his best stuff in this one. Jeremy Jeffress, a right-hander standing six foot even, will take over the pitching duties here. Jeremy Jeffress. Cam Gallagher will be his first assignment out of the bullpen as he'll stand in with a runner in scoring position at second and one away. Pickoff move to second, and he's back standing. He's set. Here it comes. Not his best effort that time. It's strike one. Ugly swing right there. That pitch wasn't even close. You can tell this guy's been in the swing mode from the minute he walked into the batter's box. Set to deliver the 0-1. Softly hit ball here, foul off to the left side, and it's strike two now. We're in the fifth inning here, 5 2 is our score. Line toward the gap in left center, and that's going to get down out there. 
And the runner from second will stay put at third. So they're runners at the corners now with one away. Nice piece of hitting right there. Looked like the guy on second had to respect it and freeze a little bit. They had to freeze there for a second to make sure that line drive gets through, but eventually does get to third base. Into the box, Freddie Barrera. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. And that's going to fall for a base hit. The throw to the plate. And not in time as the run scores. The batter, number nine. Second base. Striding into the box, D. Gordon is working on a one for three thus far. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Hit out towards second. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And a good throw is going to hold that runner at third. So they're loaded now with only one away. In is Christian Yelich. He's got an opportunity here in a bases loaded situation. And seems like the right man for the job. I'd say so. He's the team leader in RBIs. Time for the right man in the right spot. As a look, now the pitch. Swing and a liner. And he may have cleared the bases as this might get everybody home. One run is scored. Boy, this guy's having a great a game here so far, d -Row. Home run earlier in the night, and that base hit right there drives in his third run batted in of this game. Yeah, you drive to the park every day hoping your rhythm and timing is on point with that pitcher's windup. And that's exactly been the case today. He not only mixed in that big bomb, but now he's got three ribbies to boot. In now, Giancarlo Stanton. And yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Two home runs already to his name in this one, and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. The 1 0 delivery. Blowing away as he misses again, 2 0. Back-to-back -back pitches, they've gone away. Do you tell yourself as a hitter he wants to come in right here? I don't think so. I think he's trying to find that outside corner and adjust accordingly. The 2-0 on the way. Ground ball sent back up the middle, and that's through into center field. Base hit. And the second run will score as well. Nice piece of hitting right there. Kept his shoulder square. His hands inside the baseball and was able to fight off a good, nice executed pitch for a knock. In is the third baseman, Evan Longoria, as he'll swing and hit this one hard, but foul off to the left and out of play. 
trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. And this is high, a ball and a strike. Well, this inning pretty much has been one to forget for him, but he's still out there. And it's only going to get worse if he dwells on it and lets the frustration take over. Easier said than done, though. Two balls and a strike to Longoria. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It's clearly not going his way, and he's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now, he needs to think about this hitter. Now the 2-1. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Braun has a read on it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Digging in once again, Chris Taylor. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Set and the pitch. Zero. Couldn't wait back. A swing and a miss. Oh and one. Missed with a breaking ball. After two breaking pitches, there's a pretty good chance right now you're probably going to get something right in the middle of the strike zone to swing at. So if you're looking for it, Go ahead and turn that baby loose. Stanton leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. No contact there, and it's one and two. The one, two. Misses for the second ball. The 2-2. Two -two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. So this once slim lead is slim no longer as five runs. Next for Milwaukee, Keon Broxton comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. Now that ball's hit well. Deep down the left field line. Headed toward the foul pole. And that ball will stay fair. And it's gone. A home run. A solo shot that time for Keon Broxton. Second home run early in the year, but they still face a seven-run deficit. Here's the catcher, Jet Bandy. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. And that'll miss up an in ball two. Three runs, three hits, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. Falling behind now, three and one. You can bet they'd love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. In the air, out to right. Stanton has a read on it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now batting. Pitcher. Jeremy. Manny Pena will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number nine. Many Pina. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Pina, or pineapple as he's sometimes called. He's a nine-year major league vet. Hey. A ball and a strike. 
Three runs, three hits, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. Throw gets him, two down. The batter number three, shortstop, Orlando Arcia. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Orlando Arcia, 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. Here's the first pitch to him. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 and 0. Fouled off. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. The next one two pitch. And a neck high fastball that time. After multiple pitches were fouled off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think, say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it. Didn't happen. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Grounder down the line at third. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Ready with another 2 2. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. What we're seeing here is a really smart at bat. They got to be thinking the man on the mound is getting a little short on gas. So. Wouldn't he go up there and make him throw? Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. But the Brewers get one back on the solo home run. Through five innings, it's now 10-3. Anthony...
Swarzak gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Now at the plate, Derek Fisher is looking for hit number three here in this at-bat. First pitch of the at-bat. Missed with a slider. For Walker now at second. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Left fielder, Carmen Lopez. Digging in and looking for more, Carmen Lopez. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. First pitch on its way. Swing and a little tapper, but it gets fouled. Bases are empty, one man out. Line towards center field. And a knock for him this time. He's two for four for the game. Now batting, Catherine Cam Gallagher. At the play, Cam Gallagher. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Swing and a ground ball to third. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. <laughs> 0 1 count. Here's the pitch. Nope. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Lopez leads off first with one away. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. And this is on the inside edge, perhaps off the inside edge, but it's a called strike two and two now. softly hit here to the left side and that'll get down for a base hit boy d roll that ball wasn't hit very hard but when you're struggling like this guy is any knock is a good knock. yeah 100 percent. he doesn't usually get those he has to square it up mid barrel to find a way to get a knock he hasn't had much luck this year but he'll take that any day Xavier Jorgensen will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 20, Xavier Jorgensen. Spin and a throw back to second, and he's back easily. A swing and he pops him up on the infield and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. Here's D. Gordon now. He scored after reaching on a single in his last time up. First pitch coming. Here it is. This is pulled into right. That's in there. Base hit. And they'll put the brakes on that runner at third, and that means the bases are loaded now with two away. Boy, this is a big inning, Bruin. How about back-to-back-to-back -back -to -back singles? The bags are loaded, and he is in deep trouble. Yes, he is, no doubt about it. Nothing fires you up more than knocking the donut off your bat on the on-deck circle and realizing all the pillows are taken right now. Major traffic. you got to stay within yourself, not try and do too much and get a pitch in your zone. Boy, and the shellacking continues as this is down for extra bases. Now the third man is scoring. 
Yeah, and with the bases loaded, you've got nowhere to put him, so you can't afford to walk him. He comes in and rips it over the first baseman's head and into the corner, bringing everybody home. Giancarlo Stanton will stand in again as we flash you back to the early stages of this ball game. There were fans still finding their seats as he launched his second home run of the game as he was off to a fast start indeed. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Swing, and there it goes. Deep to left field. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. A long two-run homer off the bat of Giancarlo Stanton. His third home run of the ball game as they just continue to pour it on here. Well, talk about having a day. Three home runs in one game. We've heard about the hack trick in hockey, but it's awfully hard to do that in a baseball game. In is the third baseman, Evan Longoria. As he grounds one briskly to short. On to first, and it's in time as they're finally able to retire him. So this already sizable lead gets even larger as five more runs cross. Severino Gonzalez. They'll come out and take the ball here as he'll be making his 15th appearance of the year. And that'll bring up the Brazilian-born Paulo Orlando. He'll start the inning and we're back to the top of the order, but they haven't looked too dangerous in this one yet. Right, guys? Well, none of them have any hits yet, so you're right on the money. They've done a great job of holding these guys down so far. Another opportunity for him here, so we'll see if anything changes. A nice job by the batter right there, able to fight off a high fastball and slap it the other way for a single. Digging in to try it again, Ryan Braun. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. On the ground is short. This could be two to Borden for one. On to first, and they get them both. Up next for Milwaukee, third baseman, Travis Shaw. Stepping up to the plate, Travis Shaw. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Hey. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. You know, you look at this hitter, he doesn't care about being down 0-1. He doesn't care about having two strikes with him. He's got the utmost confidence in his ability to work back into the... And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Brewer sent packing on just four pitches. And as you can see, they are way behind. Back here at Miller Park in Milwaukee. This one pretty much all over, but the shouting as we check our game summary to see how we've gotten to where we are. Now batting, Chris Taylor. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. 
Kane. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a fastball just below the knees. Ball one. Ball and a strike. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Three and one to the Marlins middle infielder. And when you're already down by a bunch... This is where a guy's got to take some responsibility out there and at least start throwing some strikes. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Freaking. A fastball that he's way out in front of. A swing and a miss. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one. So, so now we've got a battle on our hands. Now the three and two pitch. Hit to third. Shaw gloves it. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Derek Fisher. Derek Fisher, the next to bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And a fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's one and zero. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. Got himself a two zero fastball there, but he couldn't connect. Two and one. He's going to need to shorten up and get that foot down a little bit earlier if he hopes to be catching up to that fastball. Pulled toward right center field. Broxton is there. Two gone. How about it? Left fielder, Carmen Lopez. Riding in once again, Carmen Lopez. He singled his last time up. First pitch on its way. A little roller toward the hole. Throw not in time, and he's in there with his third hit of the afternoon. Boy, when things are good, things are going really good. How about a swinging bunt infield single right there for his third knock of the game, d -Row? Yeah, he has to be feeling frisky right now. He's had two great at-bats, and then this one, he's 100% on fire. Getting an infield single for his third knock of the game, that's awesome. Into the box now, Cam Gallagher. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Outside for a ball, one and one. Lopez is off a of first with two away. Belted high in the air out to left. Back goes Braun, still ranging back. Gone! It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. First home run of the campaign for him as this lead got even wider. Yeah. 
Jacob Barnes enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Stepping in now, Severino Gonzalez. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. Ruben Tejada will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. And that misses one and one. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Braun has a read on it. And that's the third out. So it's two runs here on two hits with one of them being the home run. On now to the bottom of inning number seven. The Marlins on top, 17 to three. Brian Ellington will come out and take the ball here as he'll be making his 15th appearance of the year. Brian Ellington. Digging in now for the Brewers, Neil Walker, 0 for 2 for him to this point. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. Hit hard back up the middle, and Walker will reach. It's a base hit. So the Brewers get their leadoff man aboard to start out the frame. Pitcher went to the well one too many times. Back-to-back -back fastballs. Hitter was able to keep his hands through, deliver a nice line drive. Coming to the plate now, Sean Rodriguez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Curveball looked at here for strike one. A runner at first with no outs here. Swing and a miss, and he's in control 0 and 2. And he got him. Some guys with big arms like this, they're just chuckers. They just now, throw the ball as hard as they can, and where it ends up isn't that big of a concern, but that wasn't the case there. That was a very well-pitched fastball right on the corner at the knees. Good luck getting that one. And that'll bring in the speedy key on Broxton. No balls in one strike. Walker, base runner at first with one out. Line to the right side, but foul. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Lopez is after it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Digging in, Jeff Bandy. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First delivery to him on the way. Hit in the air down the right field line. And Stanton will put this one away, and the inning is over. Brewers strand one, and they remain well, well behind. Back to the top of the Miami lineup now and stepping in, D. Gordon, working on a good line in this ball game, three for five thus far. He's ready, here's the first offering. And no swing, apparently, ball one. Read this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. 
really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. The 2-0. Flares this one over toward first. He lays out, but he can't make the play, and it's through into right. Hey, sometimes that's how a rally gets started right there. I know it's a soft liner, but leadoff man on usually poses problems. Throw over to first, and the runner back easily. In is Christian Yelich. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Four hits already in this one and looking for number five here. And this runs inside and that looked like it got him pretty good. Well, I bet the manager breathed a sigh of relief when he saw he wasn't hurt that badly. The last thing they can afford to lose is a guy like that for any length of time. Giancarlo Stanton will stride in again as he looks to join a very elite list. We take you back to earlier. This was home run number three in the ballgame as he'll try and join just a select few with four home runs in a single game. From the stretch, here's the pitch. A line shot to third base. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Evan Longoria. He's got three hits, including a double to this point. First pitch coming, here it is. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And nearly a three-run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Gordon over at second. Yelich is over at first with one away. And that one skips in front of the plate. A lot of times you see guys get too aggressive and try to do too much at the plate with guys on, but right here he's doing a great job of waiting on the right pitch. Got himself ahead in the count now. Very weakly on the ground, but that one rolls foul. Now a pickoff play at second, and he'll be back in standing up. Now a spin and another throw back to second, keeping particularly close tabs on him. Good lead off a second there, now the pitch. Now a half swing, but it's strike three anyway, says the home plate umpire, and that's out number two. You know, I'm not quite sure how that strikeout will be scored, looking or swinging. He tried to check his swing, but I'm pretty sure the home plate umpire was ringing him up regardless. Standing in now, Chris Taylor. He'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. And looking to improve on a one-for-five effort so far. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Ready on 0-2. Oh, this is hit high and deep out to left. Braun looking up. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. 
So a three-run blast is straight away left. Home run number three here in the early going as the blowout continues. Guys, do you believe what we're seeing here today? With six home runs so far, this lineup is turning in a performance for the ages at the plate. Yeah, Matty V, one of the things you look for when you come to a Brewers game at Miller Park, you want to see Bernie Brewer go down the slide, and Bernie Brewer's fanny's got to be a little bit sore after this one. <laughs> Damn, one of my favorite places to hit at. I, I, I always felt like great batter's eye in dead center. You can move traffic to both gaps. A lot of home runs get hit in this yard. He's looking for his third hit of the ball game here. This is pulled into right. Orlando is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. So they get three runs on two base hits with one of them being the big home run. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Marlins lead it 20 to 3. Brett Phillips will try and get his club back into it here as he'll pinch hit to lead off the home half of the
game. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. On the first, and it's dropped! Wow, as we take another look, I have to wonder if the first baseman just kind of took it for granted. Next thing you know, he drops the ball, and the runner's safely aboard. He's not going to be happy with himself about that one. Next to bat, Orlando Arcia. Throw down to second. Now the 0-1. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. This is the situation where there's a lot of pressure on the infielders if the ball's put in play on the ground. Both the guy at first and at the plate are burners, so a double play is going to be tough. Even getting one out could be a challenge. 0-2, oh here it comes. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called, one away. Flat out locked him up with a changeup right there. Right, Usually you're trying for a swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two-strike count, but clearly he wasn't looking for it, so it's a backwards K for him. And that'll bring up the Brazilian-born Paulo Orlando. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a fastball just a bit high. Phillips, a runner at first with one gun in the inning. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Yelich is under it. Two gone. So two gone now in the Brewers half of the eighth. And that'll bring forth the great slugging left fielder Ryan Braun. First offering on its way. Up around the face. Now the 1 0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Yelich going back. Gone! So it's a two run shot for Ryan Braun. Number 348 for his career. But that'll do little more than make a dent in this big deficit. And that brings up the left-handed hitting Travis Shaw. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0 and 1. Popped him up. And Longoria will make the catch to retire the side. So two runs on one. Joaquin. Soria comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Digging in, Carmen Lopez will try to build on an already great game. He's three for five so far in this one. Here comes the first pitch. Ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. That's a good pitch to lay off right there, that cutter inside. And that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. And a lot of times, if you do swing at that cutter in, you're going to end up with some firewood nope. in a broken bat. And that's just off the nope. corner and low ball two.
a 2-1 home. Line toward right center. And a dive, but he comes up empty. And this is big trouble now out in right center. He hit the corner and tries for third. And he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one indeed. Even the best well, center fielders make mistakes that's once in a while, yeah. and that's definitely the case here. He totally misplays it, and by the time he recovers, no chance of keeping him from ending up at third. Into the box, Cam Gallagher, as he'll take a changeup here for strike one. A couple of RBIs for him already, and a chance for more here. The last at bat, Matty D, we heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. A ball and a strike now. One one hit on the ground is short. Garcia has it, and this will be an RBI as the run comes in to score from third. Great job to cash in following that leadoff triple. Infields back, so you just want to make sure you get it on the ground, and that's an easy RBI. So here now is the pitcher, Brian Ellington. Base is empty in front of him with one away following the RBI ground out. Freddie Becerra will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 18, Freddie Becerra. He pulls this one into right, and he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. Great sliding catch right there, but that can be awful risky. If you flop that one and mess it up, that ball is going to the wall, and everybody's scoring. He secures the catch, and the runners have to stand pat. Here's D. Gordon now, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. And he's been terrific so far with four hits in six tries. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So it's one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left. On now to the bottom of inning number nine. The Marlins lead this one. 21 to 5. James Conrad enters now from the bullpen the to do the pitching. Number 34, James Conrad. Here's Neil Walker starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fastball that just misses inside. Speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Conrad, a 5'10 right hander, he was selected in the first round during the first year player draft of 2018. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And this one is gone. A home run.
solo home run here for Neil Walker. Fourth home run here in the early going, but they're going to need a few more here as they're still well behind. Into the box now, Sean Rodriguez. As he takes a called strike on the black, it's 0-1. As we near the end of this one, I think it's safe to say that the story of the game has undoubtedly been the long ball. Guys, what do you think about what we've witnessed? Well, as a former offensive player, I absolutely love it. Kudos to both lineups for doing absolute damage today. One of the most fun watches of the year. You know, D-Row, what this shows me is this new age way of guys going up there, and they're swinging hard. You need to make good pitches, quality pitches, and if you don't have command of the fastball, you're in for a long day, and we saw that here this afternoon, a ball flying out at near record pace. Now batting. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Sean Rodriguez is sent packing for the first out in the bottom of the ninth. That'll bring in the speedy Keon Broxton. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now. 0 and 2. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Gordon is up with it. On to first, and it's dropped. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Oh, man, he just muffed that throw. No other way to explain it. Looked like it caught him in the heel of the glove instead of the pocket, so he's going to get hit with a fielding error as a result. Here's the catcher, Jet Bandy. And he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And this will get to the wall now, out near the Milwaukee bullpen. And the runner from first comes around to score. That will drive a pitching coach crazy. He has the hitter down 0-2 in the count. And instead of making him chase it something off the plate, he grooves one that's driven down the line for a run scoring double. Have to make better pitches on an 0-2 count. Lewis Brinson will get a chance with the runner in scoring position here as he'll pinch hit now with one away. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Comes set with the 0-1. Behind 0-2 now. Bandy leads off second with one gun in the inning. And he fouls this one off. Another 0-2. Fouled away. Ready with another 0-2. And a breaking ball stays outside. The 1-2. Now a hard liner. But foul. Hey, he's got four foul balls in this A.B. right here. He's really making his pitcher grind for everything. Again, another foul ball. Here he comes again, 1-2. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. Up next for Milwaukee. Now back to the top of the Milwaukee order, digging in Orlando Garcia. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First pitch coming, here it is. 
A swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. Ground ball left side. And that's through into left, a base hit. He'll come home with it. And not in time as he just crosses the plate in time. And on the play, the runner moves into scoring position now at second. Everything done. First pitch on its way. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. If you know you got a real patient hitter at the plate, I love the mindset of this pitcher right here attacking the zone 0-0 and getting ahead. Now the 0-1. In front of a changeup and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Three runs already home here. The Brewers down to their final strike. Breaking pitch and this bounces in front of the catcher. Those 0-2 curveballs are really tough for guys to lay off. There's a reason it's such a common pitch in that count, but he did well to spit on it there. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, that wasn't exactly a nail-biter, but it's always nice when you can get an offensive explosion like that and save your closer for another day. A comfortable victory. 21 to 8 in this contest today. Miami get the win despite three errors in the field. Freddie Barrera earns the win his second. Kyle Gibson permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and the rest of our crew. This is Matt Vaskersian, and you've been watching a presentation of MLB Network. See you next time. Time of the ball game, four hours and 18 minutes. A reminder that extra post-game MCTS bus service is available on Route 90, running downtown along Wisconsin Avenue, as well as trolley service on the Lake Route, also along Wisconsin Avenue.